With Marvel Studios boss Kevin Feige saying a Nova movie has immediate potential, we figured it was time to break down everything you need to know about the cosmic cop, the Nova Corps, and the important role they play in the Marvel Universe. Nova was created by writer Marv Wolfman and artist John Romita Sr., debuting in 1976's The Man Called Nova No. 1. Earthling Richard Ryder is a member of the Nova Corps, a group of heroes who can be best summed up as the Marvel Universe's answer to the Green Lantern Corps. Each of these space cops is given access to the powerful Nova Force and charged with defending the galaxy from all manner of threats. All members of the Nova Corps are guided by the Zandarian World Mind, a sentient computer containing all the knowledge and wisdom of centuries worth of Nova Corps soldiers. A Nova's rank determines how much of the Nova Force they can access. Centurions are considerably stronger than Corpsmen, while Nova Prime is the strongest and most capable soldier of them all. At one point, Richard Ryder served as Nova Prime and carried the entire Nova Force within his body, making him one of the most powerful heroes in the Marvel Universe. All Nova Corpsmen can draw power from the Nova Force. This energy source grants them enhanced strength, speed, and durability, as well as the ability to fly. Nova can also absorb energy and redirect it at his enemies in the form of powerful blasts. Additionally, Nova's suit allows him to safely breathe in and travel through space, including granting him access to hyperspace travel. While a fully functioning Nova Corps usually consists of several hundred members, most stories tend to revolve around Richard Ryder or his successor, Sam Alexander. We'll talk about him more later, hold on. Both of these heroes have risen to the challenge of being a Nova Corpsman and carried the torch for the Corps when the Marvel Universe was at its darkest. Early on, Nova was treated more as an homage to Spider-Man, a hero who struggled to balance his newfound powers with his personal and family responsibilities. The Nova Corps brought more of a cosmic angle to the character, and Nova's adventures often revolved around his struggles to balance his duties as a corpsman with his more earthly concerns, including his ties to the team super team, the New Warriors. Nova remained a fixture in Marvel's New Warriors comics long after his own solo comic ended. However, 2006 marked the start of a major resurgence for the character, thanks to the crossover storyline Annihilation. He remained a major player in subsequent cosmic conflicts, seen at points alongside Star-Lord and Thanos. That paved the way for Marvel to introduce a new heir to the mantle of Nova, Sam Alexander. In recent years, Marvel has established a new status quo for Nova, where both Richard Ryder and Sam Alexander coexist alongside one another, and the Nova Corps has also begun to reestablish itself. Do you want to see Nova in the MCU? Tell us in the comments section. And do not forget to check out our videos explaining Marvel's Eternals and Spider-Man's nemesis Mysterio. And as always, be sure to follow and subscribe to IGN wherever you like to watch.